I'm on my way up and out of here. It's been about two hours glassing. The sun's starting to climb. And it's going to be 95 today. Good time to stay in the shade. This is my Coolaroo shade sail. Ready to hang. Installs in 15 minutes with no tools needed. Well, I've never hung one or installed one. I think I am going to need some tools for this. It's an equilateral triangle. 10 by 10 by 10 with 10 foot ropes on each corner. So the configuration I would need right now would be, you know, three trees. Well, I don't have three trees spaced like that. I'm going to have to make do. But at least I've got my uh, Gerber camp axe and those nails. Yeah. There we go. Well, you should get the general idea now. And here are the ropes. So I just need to attach one rope to each grommet on the corner and then find a way to secure the thing so I can have a little shade. All right, I've got three ropes attached. You know, I don't even know what the correct technical name is for these nails, but I always carry a bag of them along with some longer, uh, bigger straight nails. Always carry these with me in the truck. I'm pretty impressed with this thing. I might get one of these just a little bit larger to take up to deer camp and stop bringing my quick shade with the frame that sets up and always blows down and gets destroyed during a windstorm takes up so much room on my trailer and it's just a real hassle to deal with and this you can uh, you can adjust the angle of this to get your rainfall to run off you know slope it down a little bit on one corner hey wow <laughs> look at that way better that is actually cool well it took a little more than 15 minutes but not bad for my first try that's pretty neat i'll put my chair right under there that's pretty pretty impressive that's the Coolaroo Shade Sail, made by Coolaroo. This is the 10 by 10 by 10 foot version. I know they make them larger. I'm gonna see if they make some that are waterproof because that's what I need for Idaho. But for right now, I don't have to worry about the rain. It's uh, 80 degrees out and the temperature's still climbing. Now I understand the science behind the material 
in this Coolaroo shade sail. It's a real fine mesh. It's very tough nylon, but it's got a very fine mesh size to it. Really tiny holes, but that allows the wind to kind of gently push the sail up and down. None of that wild flapping action when you have a, a cover that doesn't have any airflow through it. I've been sitting under it now for about half an hour. And it's 85 degrees out. We lost all the shade from the surrounding trees as the sun moved. So it's just the shade sail that's doing it now. It's very, very pleasant.